Greetings and salutations and welcome to another event video. In today's video we are returning back to Cadmus, if I didn't say in the last one. And we're going with the Christmas bell. Hopefully this one will be a bit faster because the snowman did take about 14 minutes and I've still got to edit that because I've recorded my videos in twos. So let's get to it. So here's the bell, it's very shiny, it's gold, metal 1600 in terms of the appearances and it's probably one of the simplest things to create except maybe for the geometry and we're going to kind of cheat a little bit because if you see my sketch it has an image if I just make that image visible all I've done is I've kind of used a spline to trace around it but I'm going to save myself a bit of effort and I'm just going to go here and use the one I made earlier which is just a picture of that so let's get to it so it's going to edit the sketch and what we've got here is we've got a picture and uh, we're just going to drop a lock on it just so it can't move around. Perfect. So now we're then just going to grab a line and this is where you're going to have to go a bit freehand kind of get used to it really. So it's going to drop a point there and drop a midline drop a line across the bottom and we're going to use that to work out our midline. So you can actually go across, keep going and you see the green midline I just send that all the way to the top. Click OK, and then just click that, midline it, job done, and we'll turn it off. OK, so we've then got another line right across to the corner here. Pretty darn simple. Now, if you go down to line, you've got a couple of lines. If you go down to control vertex, I believe, what you can now then do is essentially drop loads of points on the shape of the bell and just keep doing this obviously the more points you add the more round and more precise the curve will be but I haven't got all day and you haven't got all day to watch this video so we're going to keep it relatively simple and before you know it press the tick mark and we're done the next job is just to put an arc snap snap from either edge and that looks about right and just click finish the sketch set a revolve up and surprise surprise click ok and there you go bell sorted it is that simple now just a couple last things to do shell it out so you can get rid of that bottom face and you can probably make it I don't know 2mm thick click ok and the last thing, last but not least, is just to put a hole in it. And that's quite easy. Because it's a round surface, we can't, the hole tool's not particularly, unless we could put a work point on there. But I prefer this way. Turn the visibility on. Start a 2D sketch. Project some geometry. And grab a circle. And we're just going to make it a 3 mil circle. Click finish the sketch, extrude as a cut, asymmetrically, uh, not asymmetrically, symmetrically. Actually, no, our planes are way off. I, didn't, I thought I'd put it in front, my mistake. Instead, we'll just go through that and we'll just essentially go all and click OK. And we'll then just change that plane off, visibility off, and there you go. You've pretty much got the bell shape done. Now you can then just set the material or stuff I find brass. Soft yellow. There you go, you've got a brass bell. Another goes to like metal. 1600F. There we go. You see now I got a really shiny bell. And the last thing you need to do is put, actually just put a ringer in there. But other than that, it is really that simple. So yes, we're coming to the end of Cadmus. I think there might be a couple more episodes coming up. There might put a release out on the 23rd. See, it depends very much on time and how long I can actually get access to a quiet house for. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode.